knows really who created it. Yeah, I don't really think about Tim Berners-Lee every time I surf the World Wide Web. So <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter to me. Uh, lots of people have examined the Bitcoin protocol, spec, the encryption yeah. schemes under, underlying it, and have come away with the realization that it's one of the most brilliant uh, uh, innovations um, in, in the protocol and financial space that they've ever seen. Um, so, so the underlying thing is sound. It's probably the case that Satoshi or the group that uh, purported to be Satoshi probably holds somewhere around 10% of underlying Bitcoin, uh, making these guys look small time. Um, but that's okay. I mean, it's an incredible invention for mankind, um, if it works. <laughs> what what I mean, made you finally comfortable with it? As what made me comfortable? Well, I, I mean, it took me a while to warm up to it. I, I just read through all the different pieces. Uh, you know, underlying Bitcoin, there's at least four different technologies that are sort of combining uh, to make it possible. And you know, as Paul Graham says, you gotta live in the future. If you don't understand what's on the cutting edge and you're in the tech business, uh, then you're sort of missing out. So I sort of forced myself to learn about it. And underneath, you've got uh, digital signatures used in a very clever way. You've got a peer-to-peer -peer network. Um, you have a distributed blockchain, which is this concept that every transaction, the history and record of every transaction is in everyone's wallet. And then you've got this proof of work system to prevent double spending, the application, which is very brilliant. So you've got four different great concepts coming together. And I wanted to understand it just because I like technology. Uh, I like things that engage, uh, that enhance personal freedom. This seemed to be one of the cases that was doing both. Uh, and so it took me a few months to dig through everything, get comfortable with are there loopholes, what are the failure modes, uh, what are the incentives and the motivations underneath. And I came away thinking that it was the most fundamental thing to come along since the underlying internet protocols like TCP IP and HTTP. Mm -hmm. and, and I think people think about Bitcoin incorrectly. They think about it as currency or about gold or about hoarding or speculation or how much money do you make, when really what it is, it is an API for programmable cash and financial transactions. Mm -hmm. For the first time, the hackers in the audience have access to a protocol that allows them to program wills and escrow and notaries and uh, payouts and dividends and uh, you know you, there are fun things you can do in crowdfunding with Bitcoin that you just cannot do with normal cash. So this idea of programmable universal cash is what is really really fascinating. Mm -hmm. I'd elaborate on that a little bit. Um, so one of the things about it, just uh, you know, uh, the uh, if you go to GitHub.com front slash Bitcoin front slash Bitcoin, you can Git clone it and you can actually inspect the source. You can look at it yourself. Uh, and uh, Satoshi wrote a paper on it. Um, and in general, you know, the validity of a mathematical theorem is not really a function of who did it. It's, it can be independently checked. Uh, moreover, Satoshi actually has pretty good reason for remaining anonymous or else he'd be like hunted like Edward Snowden or, or, or something, right? Um, this is something where uh, every regular in the world is kind of uh, after, or at least in the US is after Bitcoin now. Um, the other thing is that in terms of the fundamental computer science breakthrough here, uh, it's a solution to uh, the Byzantine generals problem. Uh, and it's actually a breakthrough which can be used to turn a variety of things that we previously thought could only be done via centralized systems into things that can now be done in a distributed fashion. So there are these alt chains. Uh, I'm not saying any of them are the you know, final answer or anything, but like Namecoin, that'd be like a distributed you know, domain system, like a domain name system. Uh, and there's other things you can do like a distributed public key infrastructure and, and so on. So um, technologically, it's really a step forward. Mm -hmm.